kufunga reloaded ambacho kinafundisha uh, maswala kadhaa sio yote yanayohusu kufunga kutofautisha kufunga na kushinda njaa <laughs> yeah, kutofautisha kutofauti kati ya kufunga na kushinda njaa kwa hiyo nimeeleza maelezo mazuri huku ambayo yatakusaidia kama we ni mwanafunzi wa kweli inauza shilingi 5000 Nimekuja na kitabu cha kabla ya kuomba maombi ni zaidi ya mbwe mbwe. Nilikuwa nataka jina maombi zaidi ya sarakasi watu wakaniambia punguza kidogo ukali wa maneno nikaandika maombi ni zaidi ya mbwe mbwe. Kinafundisha basically moyo wa Mungu juu ya mwombaji. Mtu anapoomba anatakiwa muone Mungu anayemuomba yukoje. Watu wengi wanajua mbinu nyingi za kuomba lakini hawajui Mungu anajibuje. Kwa huku nimeelezea tabia za Mungu kwenye kujibu, ukarimu wa Mungu, uh, ukamilifu wa Mungu kwenye anapojibu maombi yetu. Ni vizuri kumuomba mtu unayemfahamu, si ndio? Yeah, if you are asking me for 2000 dollars, US dollars na huna waka kama ninayo, uweze kuwa na confidence ya kuniomba, si ndio? Yeah, ile ina cover eneo la uh, moyo wa Mungu juu ya maombi. Lakini hapa nimeangalia kitabu kinaitwa Moyo wa Baba. Hichi ndo kitabu ambacho ni very current, hakina hata miezi miwili ambacho kinaelezea tabia halisi ya Mungu ambayo wengi hawaijui god as a father wengi wanajua mungu ni mshikaji tu katili yuko maeneo fulani anakusubiri tu uchemshe akutwishe anaangalia tu sasa nipige nipige manati kuelekea upande gani kama mungu muindaji fulani hivi amazing but god is a loving father tunasemaga tunapokuwa kwenye fellowship zetu god is good and all the time Actually, hiyo sentence watu wengi wanao mdomoni lakini moyoni they don't have it. About the goodness of God, watu wengi wanajua Mungu ni katili. So they have the, the, the mixed kind nature of God. They say God is good all the time and that is his nature. Wow. But it is not actually wow to many people. Akiingia kwenye maombi, you know kwamba it is not wow, it is war. And it's just like umekutana na certain certain jamaa mmoja mkatili kinoma hivi. But God is actually huku nime prove your statement ya yeah, God is good and that is nature. Ni kama vile mtu anaingia kwenye msiba unasikia habari za Mungu unaona is this what they call God is good? Nasema Bwana alitoa na Bwana akatoa alafu jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Alafu nasema sisi tulimpenda alafu Mungu akampenda zaidi kwa Mungu akipenda anaua au sio? The one that God loves die younger. Si ndo maana yake sasa eh? Kwa yule anayependwa na Mungu anafaa mapema anakufa mapema eh ukienda niani afu anasema Mungu kapenda kachukua is that the true nature of god kwa hiyo unaweza ukaelewa sasa shida zizopo kule watumiaga ile maneno ya ayubu tupate mema kutoka kwa Mungu tusipate na mabaya maana yake ukienda kwa Mungu na expect akuletee radi au akuletee mvua ya kawaida kwa hiyo unajiposition anasema god Akiku, ukiwa unaumwa unaomba pengine ni mapenzi yako au pengine ni mapenzi ya adui kwao hujui hasa Mungu anataka nini because you don't know his nature lakini if you know the nature of God even your prayer will be effective you know where to cast devils kwa sababu when you know God you know where the devil is kwa when when you know the voice of God you know the voice of enemy kama ambapo babako akiongea unajua that's my father talking i know him Ukisikia mwanamuziki anaimba sema that's diamond but when god talks many christian don't know cuz they have the mixed kind of god just like a devil just sometimes a devil sometimes god hawasemi hivyo kama anavosema mimi ndo nafunua anavosema mioyoni mwao sema mungu anasema mungu ndiye anayetajirisha alafu ndiye anayefukarisha riziki mafungu saba dunia karai aliyekupa wewe ndiye aliyenyima mimi alafu ukaagi upande aliyepewa Unakaa upande wa aliyenyimwe. <laughs> so it's like if mwenye nikwambie that's what people teach about God. A mixed kind of stuff. Yaani kama vile jiwe fulani hivi, huku mbao, huku dhahabu. Am I talking the truth? Kwa hiyo nimejaribu kuandika na bado naandika about the true nature of God. Tukisema God is good, do we really mean it? God is good and all the time kwa hiyo hata unapoona habari za Sodoma na na Gomora kwa lugha uliyosema all the time all the time mean past present 
and future. In the beginning, in the present, in the future. At last, in Alpha and Omega. God has never changed. He is always good. It means we have to explain. 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 So I did explanation about the true nature of God. God is not the source of darkness. He is the source of light. He created darkness. Akasema, I saw darkness as light as good, not darkness. Because in him there is no evil. In God there is no darkness. That's very important. Now the only way So the best way to understand God Jesus has never killed any person. Actually he healed them. He has never destroyed any man. He raised from dead. He has never cast any man. He blessed them. He's never hakuwai kushikilia dhambi ya mtu aliwasamehe. That's the kind of God Jesus presented. He has never said mapepo yakae ndani yako aliwatimua kuambia in the past mapepo yalipokuwa yanaingia watu it was not God. No, ndo maana Yesu aka demonstrate. Ndo maana sema mapepo akaanza kupiga kelele umekuja. Mwanangu umekuja kutufurumua. Umekuja kutureveal ya kwamba sisi ndio tulikuwa tunataka vimeo kwa watu. Actually if you don't know God we can know the devil. Kwa understanding God makes you to understand when the devil is walking and when God is walking. So, Yesu akasema nimekuja kudhihirisha kazi za baba yangu. Ndio maana alipoulizwa swali, nafikiri ni Yohana 9. Sijaanza kufundisha maombi eh. Nafundisha na, umuhimu wa kwani hichi kitabu ni muhimu sana. Akaambiwa hivi, kati ya huyu mm, aliyezaliwa mtu amezaliwa kipofu tangu tumboni. Angalia maswali ya mafarisayo. Dini noma sana. Anauliza eti kati ya huyu ambaye amezaliwa tangu tumboni alikuwa kipofu nani alifanya dhambi mama yake au baba yake kwa sababu anajua Mungu ni mshikaji fulani anaangalia tu dhambi ikiwepo anapitisha fire pa upofu ndivyo alivyokuwa anajua kwa anajua hii ni laana ya Mungu sawa Yesu akamwambia no no it is not that way sio baba yake sio mama yake maana yake the presence of trouble is not the absence is not the presence of God actually it's the absence of God kama sio Mungu ndio amemfanya hivyo tena walivyowajinga can you imagine mtoto akiwa tumboni unauliza kama nani amezaliwa kipofu nauliza kati ya huyu mtoto na mama yake nani katenda dhambi what kind of foolish question is that yani mtu kazaliwa kipofu eti bora angekuwa amepata akiwa na miaka 15 lakini kazaliwa aoni <laughs> mwana eh? religious make you blind think unauliza you only demonstrate the great level of ignorance about God. Say my the great level of ignorance. Hey. Kwa Yesu akasema tuliza kwanza. Maadam niko duniani, nimekuja kuonyesha nini? Nuru. Maana yake nimekuja kumulika mwizi. Unajua kumulika mwizi? Ukiwasha tando unajua nani yupo, nani amevaa nguo, nani yuko uchi, nani amene. You understand when there is light, ndio eh? Kwa Yesu amekuja ku show the light that this is God. This is not God bwana asifiwe ndo maana akasema kabisa anayeua tangu mwanzo ni nani ibilisi lakini ibilisi anaua kupitia nani watu sawa kama ambavyo Mungu anaoperate kutupitia sisi even the devil use people to destroy when destruction happen is the absence of god presence of the devil causing destruction wapange vizuri sawa job description zinaeleza huyo ni nani sawa eh hey. usije usije ukachanganya maduzi dawa Yeah. Yesu alisema hizi hivi uje aji ila aibe na kuharibu bali mimi nalikuja. Unaona tofauti eh? Yeah, kwani anasema anayeua ni ibilisi maana alikuwa mu, al, al, alikuwa ni muaji tangu wapi? Tangu mwanzo. Unajua alianza kuwa wapi? Kaini si ndio mtu kwanza kuwa. Si ndio? Okay. Kama Mungu ni muaji, alimsaidia Kaini kuwa. In fact, alikuwa anamuepusha mshikaji. Ah, alikuwa amwambia hivyo, sorry for my language. Mshikaji, mambo gani haya? Waoni kwa na mambo yanakuotea pale mbele mshikaji kwepa. Jamaa akapotezea. Sio jua Mungu sio dikteta eh. Mungu hajashika remote. 
unaweza kuambia mshikaji ukiingia kwenye hicho chumba hiyo mdada utatoka tu mezini naye ili wako kwa nena kwa lugha la la rika basa baraba usiingie lakini Mungu usiende huko usiende huko you have to agree the leadership of holy spirit ndio maana god doesn't possess you like a devil he stays in you and lead you it means you have to obey ndio maana kuna itwa nini we obey obedience sawa Mungu anatupenda kiasi kwamba anataka tuwe natural hataki atufanye ma robot this is greater love hataki tuwe ma robot ndio maana kama namtumikia Mungu ni kwa kupenda mimi sio god kama nikinitumikia nitapata laana no na muamini Yesu Kristo sasa nipo mtumikia sipungukii chochote namtumikia kwa sababu nampenda full stop ndio maana wa Kristo wengi ukiondoa jehanamu wanaacha na Ukristo kwa sababu hawakuwahi kumpenda Mungu walikuwa wanaogopa jehanamu ndio maana maandiko yanasema vizuri perfect love cast out fear because where there is fear there is eh where there is fear there is what <laughs> mimi nasoma Yohana unajua nyinyi mnasoma wapi mnafurahisha <laughs> nyie <laughs> ah lakini mna, 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 ni muhimu so you can take one copy hii 5000 10000 15000 sawa eh Yeah, we are going to talk about prayer. I'm not talking about the true nature of God today. We are going to talk about prayer. Lakini like I wanted you to to restudy. Unajua ku restudy. Study again about God. Sawa? Eh. Ili sasa unaposema God is good, you are you are sure. So jo eh? Unajua assurance eh? Wewe ni mwanaume? Umefikiria mara mbili mbili? Umeelewa anake? Yaani kama ambapo ukitoka asubuhi hata kama umelala na mke wako wengine amjawa poleni umelala na mke wako ukienda kwenye wardrobe uchukue sketi you are sure i'm a man sio eh about god we have to have that assurance the knowledge which which is as relationship with us we are not trying eh we are not trying to say religiously Ina, unajua unafiki maana yake nini to say a well you mean b ndio unafiki Unafu sema God is good alafu kichukua mic hapa you preach like God is like a devil Nimekwambia usipotoa zaka oh tamtuma lae Inawezekana huyo mke wake anayeumwa ni kwa sababu hukutoa Inawezekana kuna dhambi umefanya na Mungu anakuhukumu Hallelujah Mmm hata sema yes this is a good preacher Kumbe una you think you are preaching Kumbe you are eh Kumbe you are pro you are pronouncing statements you are just saying Unamwaga Pumba International Pumba producer IPP Sasa tunaendelea leo tunataka tuanze kidogo kucheki juu ya maombi na nataka tufikiri mambo kadhaa juu ya maombi mimi nimemaza kucheka nyinyi mnaendelea uh, I'm not a comedian I'm a preacher <laughs> Lakini mimi nikiwaambia kwa uzuri mnacheka Moyo wangu natamani sana watu wamfahamu Mungu kwa uhalisia wake Yes very important We can't relate with a God we don't know eh? we get, eh, yes we can't relate with a God we don't know Am I sounding international <laughs> Atuwezi atuwezi ku na Mungu tusiyemjua. Actually mahusiano mazuri ni ya kujuana. Ndio maana ha, hakuna upendo kwenye infatuation. Ai! Ha, wonderful. I just met him. Nikasikia kama nywele zimesisimka. Yaani that man, that man. Oh, that woman, hambu cha hamba barahati. Yaani you you <laughs> kaanae miezi miwili. Unagundua hii ngoma nikienda nayo ndani hali ya hewa inabadilika. Sababu a lot of people relationship is about knowledge, knowing each other. So many people can relate with God actually. Watu wengi na Mungu wako kwenye protocol. Unajua protocol? Do this, I do that. Play that, I play that. Ni roles. 
ni just responsibility is there is no relationship at all ni toa sadaka ili akubariki usipotoa hakubariki that's the imagine sasa mke wangu nikitaka nani anasema mpaka fanye nani kwanza that's not relationship then amaanisha nikitaka chakula anasahau ya kwamba mimi ni mume wake anasema he chakula maana mjio umekuwa umewaza mbali na warudisha anasema <laughs> chakula wewe nani unataka nikupe chakula nikienda nyumbani i don't think twice about eating sunaelewa eh kwa sababu we are in the relationship i don't ask her be my wife tonight anajua nafasi yake I don't have to threat actually. Si siwezi kumweka kumthreaten. Ukiendelea kufanya vizuri ndio unakuwa mke wangu. Ndio maana kuna watu wengine wanakuwa wana wa Mungu kwa kujitahidi. Wakishindwa kufanya mambo mawili matatu wamepoteza uana. Nimerudi nyuma. Kilomita ngapi? <laughs> Hallelujah. So even prayer is a relationship. You can't pray well if you don't know God. tunaelewana mpaka hapo eh so that's very important ndio maana Yesu anatufundisha concept nzuri za maombi kweli kabisa ambao uh, hapo zamani watu walikuwa hawajui the first thing watu walipomuuliza Yesu about prayer alisemaje salini hivi baba what is that relationship sema baba sio Mungu mtakatifu Mungu mwenye nguvu Mumba mbingu na nchi uliyekaa mahali pa juu palipoinuka ukiulizwa iko wapi mahali pa juu palipoinuka yenyewe hujui Mahali pa juu sana pamoja na roho iliyopondeka roho ya nani You put a lot of jargon maombi yanaonekana marefu lakini mpaka hapo jaomba chochote Ninakuja mbele zako ulienda wapi Ninakuja na <laughs> Kwanza baba ninaomba unitakase ili niweze kuongea na wewe. Anajibuja utakaso ili aweze kuongea na wewe wakati ndio kwanza unaongea kutakasa. Unaenda unaenda chumbani, unaenda bafuni, unanawa kwanza. Ninanawa ili niingie bafuni. Mungu naomba nitakase ili uweze kuongea na mimi. You are sounding like God is afraid of your sin. The doctor is afraid of your sickness. So when he saw he see you anasema where should I go now? ameapia man mgonjwa kaja eh kwa mgonjwa anaanza kusema hivi ninajitibu kwanza let me tell you something what what people that didn't know about god god is not afraid of sin because he has the solution watu wengi ndio maana wakikosea wanaachaga na masuala ya ukristo kabisa wanaenda mbali kwa nini they know god is a certain man who is actually You can contaminate alafu akachafuka. No, wewe nikwambia kitu ambacho ulikuwa hujui. God doesn't like sin. Sawa? Sawa. But he has a solution. Ndio maana Yesu alipokuwa akikaa na makahaba ulikuwa anaambiaje? Ha. Hi. Farisayo anasemaje? Angekuwa nabii huyu. Angejua huyu mwanamke ni mkahaba. Maana wanajuaga hivi, unabii ni sinometer. Ni sin sensor. Chumba hiki kinanuka dhambi. Hi ani kama vile ukiwa na bindo nasikia harufu ya dhambi haleluya nasikia harufu angalia sasa nasikia hasira ya Mungu kwenye hii nyumba kanisani hapo ndo nasema mtu akisema nasikia harufu ya dhambi kwenye nyumba haleluya wa dhambi wamekuja kanisani asante Yesu wagonjwa wamekuja kwenye dawa wasamishe ndani waoge vizuri waonyeshe uhalisia wa upendo wa Mungu Waonyeshe Mungu alivyo na nguvu ya kuatakasa. That's why Jesus went to the guy called The shorter guy. Zacchaeus, man. Zacchaeus ni mtu za ushuru, unajua mtu za ushuru in English, a publican. A guy we know publicly that is a sinner. So he's not acting holy like many Christian who act holy but they don't have the spirit of holiness. He, he was not acting. Na mwenyewe alionyesha. Asema kama kuna mtu nimemuibia, ndamba mara nne. Maana yake mwizi, sawa? Hapo <laughs> wenyewe kama maana ni wengi hajui nani na nani. Kwa hiyo inabidi sasa ufanye nini? 
ufanye ufanye inclusive inclusiveness anybody yet jesus who is the sole expression of god the true image of god the imprint of self nature of god the one who can declare this is god i know god god is working in me without him i'm doing nothing i am the true representation of god then is god going in the house of zacchaeus and then that changed zacchaeus the only thing that can change a man is christ in you not christ outside you you are trying to change without god you are playing unacheza karata but you are not haubadiliki ndio kwanza masturbation unajifunza the new ways of doing it you try two weeks third week you fall again in the same trap why you are sin conscious you are not god conscious kimjazacho ndicho kimtokacho bora ungejaa mungu ungeanza kutoa upendo asikama maelewa that's why the guy changed Yesu akasemaje wokovu umekuja kwenye nyumba hii he did even preach he just went there aliingia tu kwenye ile nyumba akasema wokovu umekuja kwenye nyumba hii sisi tukimwona makahaba kisha taratibu unachora semi psycho you don't want to come around somebody who is a sinner Why? Because we are taught Christianity is a weak thing. When it is contaminated, it is get dirty. Skiliza. Christianity is not a weak thing, actually. God is not a weak fellow. God is a strong fellow. When he comes in you, he don't run away because you are a sinner. He stay there to clean it you. He's the one who has the ability to forgive. He's the one who has the ability to give you freedom from sin. He is the one that supply the power. It is not your obligation you try trial and error you know because there is there is errors because there is trial isn't it eh a trial and error i'm not trying to be a saint in christ i'm holy already i'm separated from god i'm sanctified by his blood he died thinking of me not himself romana kwenye second corinthians chapter 5 21 anasema hivi yeye asiyejua dhambi Mungu alimfanya kwa dhambi ili mimi nifanye kwa haki kwa ajili yake. Kwa hiyo he went my path. And how do I know that? Because he is in me. Kwa hiyo the holy guy is living in me. So I am holy already. I'm separated. Bwana asifiwe. Actually God is staying with you. That's what the religion doesn't tell you. Kila siku una sak unamtafuta Mungu aje. The presence of God is not in the building built by man. He is a building built by God himself by the death of Jesus which is the body of Christ. No matter what anybody the body of Christ because Christ living in me and Christ in me is the hope of glory where many prophets have spoken about it. Wakatafuta tafuta manabii wakatafuta tafuta habari za mambo yaliyoandikwa kwa ajili yetu. Nani anaitwa? Ibrahim mwenyewe alipoona habari za Kristo ndani yetu akashangilia akataka kujenga nyumba akisema i want that house where god dwells in the man nenda kusoma hebrewia 11 akakaa kwenye tent miaka yake yote mpaka akaondoka kwa nini he saw something aka prophesy about it sisi tunaona lakini kila siku twendeni kwenye uwepo wa mungu aliyeko ndani yako anafanya nini ndio maana uko radhi kuzini ukitoka kanisani huku unaweza ukavaa vizuri kwa dance vizuri kwa act holy kwa sababu you think god is here no big no god is here in me this make me hata ukinipeleka lindi i am conscious of the god i carry ndio maana watu wengi wakimazaga vyuo wakifika mtaani wanakuwa vimeao unajua kwa nini because they thought god is in their makusanyiko god is not inside them tunakuja hapa to release the power we have in me. we are not going to make power here we are not praying for more power we are releasing more power when we are praying hata prayer lazima tujue concept yake. We are not praying for power. We are releasing power. Kwa sababu only men of power can pray. Only men of spirit can worship. Only men of spirit can praise. Only men of spirit can release the things of spirit. We are the sons of spirit. Why? Because we have been born again. Born again, born from above, born by God. 
by his spirit, by the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So God delights dwelling in me. What is, that's the greatest kind of riches, God to stay in me. Jesus is working in me. Because it was not about naming. Because naming, wakina Yesu wengi wapo. Do you know Jesus from Man City? You, you know the other Jesus alikuwepo hata wakati wa Yesu? Yes, many Jesus has been there. But Jesus we are talking about is because of what he has accomplished. The function of the name is what you have done. The Jesus who died, rose again, and he has made us perfect before God, and himself is living in me who is doing this works. So I, I, I'm not trying to be a carrier of God. Yani, mfupa ndani ya mfupa, nyama ndani ya nyama, nywele ndani ya unywele. Every corner of me is full Jesus. That's my consciousness. That's how to be Christian consciousness. Siyo kama unaelewa, eh? Iyo ndo inakusaidia hata uombe, unaomba by releasing power. Not by, baba sasa ukiwa kama ni mapenzi yako. Inaomba tu sababu. Kwanza ujua hata mapenzi yake nini, kwa sababu you don't know him. Kwa sasa baba, sasa huu mdana nataka ni mwombe lakini inasikana nataka kumuua. Mimi sijui naona sasa nifanyaje hapa mimi? Mimi sijui. Sasa Mungu naomba tu ukita. Unarusha maombi hivi. Puu! Utakayonyofoa ndio umeajibu. Hallelujah. Si kama unaelewa eh? Kwa prayer become effective when you know your position in God. You are a son of God. You have his spirit. God is walking through you. Hallelujah. Kwa ndio maana tusipoomba kuna mambo yataharibika sio kwa sababu sio kwa sababu hayezi kurekebishwa is because we are not praying kwa sababu god is not in control we are in control how do we become in control the only way god can be in control is to be in us that's why it is it is ni, ni kwa ni kwa it is for his pleasure that he has begotten us by his spirit kwa yani Mungu amejisikia tu I want to live in this world but not kwenye mti ndani ya huyu mtu. And that's why prayer produce power because our power come from within. Kwa Efeso 3 inasemaje? 3:20. Basi, unajua basi maana yake sentence sentence ambayo imetoka huko mwanzo, si ndio eh? Maana yake huku kwenye moja Paulo anawaambia waefeso kwenye moja. Nashukuru ya kwamba mmempokea huyu mmepokea imani. Anaingia mstari wa 17 asema Mungu wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo awape ninyi roho ya hekima na roho ya ufunuo katika kumjua yeye macho ya mioyo yani atiwe nuru ili mpate mjue tumaini la mwito wake jinsi ulivyo na utajiri wa utukufu wake na ubora sisi tu asema anauliza why it is so wonderful things God done through Jesus Christ for us Anaingia mbili anaendelea kugongea power 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 anaingia tatu anaanza kusoma kuanzia 14 he speak he still speak about I am praying for you that you shall know the depth the height the width of the love of God. Anataka wajue. Kwa sababu wakijua ambacho Mungu amefanya ndani yao it make them to know that they have something inside of them. That they can release for victory. That they can release for change in the church. For change of people. They can release something they know they have. You can't give what you don't know that you have. You can stay in the acres of diamond and die a beggar. When you know diamonds are in your acre. Hello. Hello. Ndio bwana Paulo, sasa ngoja nikwambie kitu about the change of behavior. Watu wengi hawajui. Paulo alienda kwa kwa aliandika waraka kwa Wakorinto. Wakorinto walikuwa ni wahuni. Hamna wahuni kwenye mji huu kama Wakorinto. Na walikuwa ni believers, sema believers. Anaanza kuandikia moja pale. Anawasalimia watakatifu walioshwa, waliosafishwa. Alafu mbele anaambia hivi nimesikia kwenu kuna zinaa ambapo hata kwa mataifa cha mtoto. Kwamba ninyi mtu anaweza akatembea na mke wa baba yake. Mke wa baba yako ni nani? Alafu unatembea naye sasa. <laughs> Alafu anaposema anaongea maneno hayo tulitegemea angekuwa hash kuliko Galatia. Galatia anaambia ninyi msio na akili. Wakorinto wanaambiaje? 
hamjui unaona eh remind them what they carry hamjui ya kuwa ninyi ni hekalu la Mungu ambalo roho wa Mungu anakaa ndani yenu ha kwa sababu sasa nitachukuaje hekalu la Mungu nikaliunganishe na nani na kahaba Unaona eh you start to see what you carry is very precious. Unajua vitu vya thamani vinatunzwa vizuri. The moment you know what you carry, you protect it. Unakutana na mdada anataka azini na wewe unamwambia, "Ah, kweli una hambu cha hamba parakati uko fresh, but I'm carrying something precious." Actually, I love you to that level. I cannot commit adultery with you because of the love of God I have. Unamwambia kaka haina noma kabisa. Ni fresh zaidi ya fresh ya shamba. Zaidi ya maziwa fresh. But there is a but. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm too precious to play around. I'm too good to do bad. Just like my father. Ndio maana anasema kwenye Mwefeso 5, hivyo mfuateni Mungu, kufuata Mungu maana yake sio Mungu kwa mbele unatembea hivi. Ah anasema learn to practice godliness. How God is be like God. If God is good then you can be good. Kama Mungu ni mkarimu then unaweza kuwa mkarimu. Kama Mungu ana upendo then unaweza kupenda. Akasema mbele yake mkaenende katika upendo kama Kristo naye alivyofanya alipotoa uhai wake kwa ajili yenu. The pattern of Christianity is not the pattern we tuokoti kwenye kwenye psychology books. Hatuokoti kwenye 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 nini? Tuna, we take it from the heart of God which is in the Bible. Hello. Na Yesu ame demonstrate the love of God, the heart of God, the true nature of God. No matter it is hard to be a good Christian if you don't know God for real. Hai hmm. wezekani. Uwezi kuwa mkristo unayeeleweka if you don't know God. Ah! Tutakusaidia tu kukunyanyasa kila siku. Mmo dada unavaa masuruali, unawatega wanaume. Kwa nini ameambia waangalie? Unageuka upande huu you try you you una una unawekea mi vigingi wasiruke ukuta but they are not changed people ndio maana ukingoa vigingi unagundua kwamba walikuwa ni swala ndani ya mji waachie nafasi waone kichaka wanatimuka balaa si una unaelewa nacho maanisha eh So the true change comes inside when you really know the God you have. Sasa ukija hapo mbele unasema mtumishi hebu naomba ni tuanze kuomba tuvute uwepo wa Mungu. Yaani kama vile Mungu ni jamaa fulani hivi mzito kinoma mpaka upige pambio ndio anasema naja. Shuka bwana shuka. Ninao angalia sikuiti hukumu ila shuka what is the kind of concept is that kwanza unajua anakuja kuhukumu alafu namuita ile amwambia shuka unamchanganya mwenye ajelewe sasa nije au nisije maana umeniambia nije na unanipangia job description ukija huku si hukumu eh sasa unanita kufanya nini yeah, so you you are, you are planning when you planning officer you are god's planning officer you are telling him what to do hey Hatuendi kumshusha Mungu. We are not going to shusha in God. When we meet, nisikilize vizuri. <laughs> Ameelewa mtumishi wa Bwana. Ndipo inavyotakiwa. Ndipo inavyo ukielewa piga kelele. Yes. It is a demonstration. Ana demonstrate alicho kipokea ndani yake. Make some noise. <laughs> So when we are praying we didn't have yani Mungu tuli, tumekutana hapa tukiwa tumembeba Mungu hatukuja kumtafuta Mungu hapa Hello Yes Tusio tukatumia siku nzima tunamtafuta Mungu siku ya pili tunampata siku ya tatu tunamtumia siku ya nne wakati tunaondoka tunampoteza Inakuwa ni nini naitwa Patapotea ndoma naambiaga watu watu wengi wanabeba wokovu kama shilingi kumi. ukicheza nao beach inapotea it's like a man made stuff salvation is god's business not you 
Salvation, that's why salvation can only be accepted, not man-made. Did you write a letter for Jesus to die? How much do you contribute? Unafikiri baraka za Mungu unanunua kwa kwa msimbazi? Kwa sababu you have you have never known true riches of God. So true riches of God cannot be bought. How can you how can God manufacture something people can buy? That's secularism. That's how the system of the world can work. That's why salvation cannot be bought by good deeds. It can only be received by faith. Ndio maana ya kutubu. Kutubu sio nimejitahidi. Tangu nije semesta hii sijasengenya. Kwa hiyo kutubu kwa ukweli ni matokeo ya kuhubiriwa kweli na ku accept ya kwamba God is pleased with me because of Jesus Christ. Kwa sababu alichokifanya. That's why the essence of salvation comes in. That's what attracted Jesus in you. Kinachomfanya Yesu aje ndani yako unajua ni nini? Ni kukubali ya kwamba without him I will never be holy. I will never be good. I will never I will never become a new creature at all. That's the meaning of faith. Unajua kuna watu wema kuliko wa Kristo. Lakini sio lakini hawana Mungu. Ni kwa sababu anaendesha gari. Nikarudi nyuma boom nikasikia pam nikagonga gari la mtu kwa dini ya watu nilipogonga akaenda akaitwa akasikia nani nasema yule kijana ambaye unaishi naye hapa amegonga gari yako kwenye mlango nimeharibika sana nasema mlango tu umeingia ndani nikawa namsubiri ili aniambie ni shilingi ngapi nikatengeneze au nimpe mzee akamtuma akasema mwambie hiyo kijana aendelee na safari yake nikasema what is this nikamuuliza kwa hiyo anamaanisha nini akasema yule ni mtu wa dini sana hawezi hata kuonana na wewe baada ya kukosea unajua hiyo inaweza kata self righteousness kama ukristo ungekuwa ni matendo mema matendo mema anaweza akakupa Mungu wanaojilipua ili wapate ahera wangekuwa wanaenda moja kwa moja But the truth is God knew matendo ya mwanadamu hayawezi kuleta haki ya Mungu. Mungu asema hivi, gharama ya wokovu ni kubwa kiasi kwamba Mungu hawezi kumchaji mwanadamu chochote, anatakiwa ampe tu bure. Ndio maana inaitwa neema. Neema means you are getting something you don't deserve. Man, if you could have to pay, you have to lose everything. And you lose yourself, you lose your family to get it, and that you cannot get it sababu ni expensive sikiliza pale ambapo tunashusha kile alichokufanya Mungu kionekane tunaweza kupata kwa jitihada zetu ni kumshushia Mungu heshima ni kumwambia Yesu uliuza nyago msalabani hii ngoma naiwezea mwenyewe nikijitahidi tu na kwa holi kwa hiyo we uliuza nyago tu kwa sababu kuna watu walikuwa wanajitahidi kabla Yesu ajaja si ndio mafarisayo walikuwa wanajitahidi si ndio dini nyingi za watu kujitahidi kutenda mema si likuepo si ndio Buddha wanajitahidi kutenda mema si ndio Waislamu wanajitahidi kutenda mema wewe unasali mara tano kwa siku wenzako hawakosei wana hiji na maka si ndio lakini you know they have never have, they, they don't have god why because they are seeking to please god why god want to give them for free what they are seeking Meza hiyo taratibu You understand what I mean Nimesema matendo mema ni mabaya? No. Tumeumbwa ndani ya Kristo ili tutende matendo mema. Lakini matendo mema hayakutuumba ndani ya Kristo. It is the free gift of God, the free grace of God, the love of God that begotten us into Christ. Ili ili tuenende. Maana yake Mungu ameweka ndani yako DNA ya wema ili utembee kwenye wema. Lakini wema wako haukufua mfano. Wanaume wengi wanakojoa wamesimama, si ndio? Si ndio? Okay, nikichuchumani nikakojoa. Do I change into a woman? Si ndio? I don't change. Maana yake nini? Maana yake nini? When I do bad, it doesn't change my identity. I'm still a man. Si ndio? If I do something that's not manhood, ndio maana hata mashoga bado tunawaita wanaume. Si ndio? Hello, au nyaya muelewi? There are still men who are practicing against manhood. Si ndio? Ndio maana mwana wa Mungu tukimkuta anatenda ubaya we remind him of his true nature you carry good god in you do good 
We are not telling him to do good to become a son of God or to, be, to become God kind. No! You are God kind, now do good. We are not praying to become Christian. We are praying because we are. We are not trying to win the heart of God. We love God. We are giving because we love God. Why? Because he loved us before. We are responding. We are not creating. We are not, we are not making God to react. God has acted many years ago for us. Kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu mwenyewe aliupenda ule mwenyewe mwenyewe. Nobody hakuna mtu alimchocha. Ndio maana mimi sipendagi watu wanatoa sadaka kwa kama wamhonga Mungu. Mungu ninaambarisha sadaka hizi ninaomba ininenee. Sorry kama mnaobiriki hivyo. Kwa hiyo unamwambia sasa sadaka ndio zikaongee. Maana yake wewe 10000 naweza katoa sauti kuliko wewe. Pumba. Yaani baba amekumisi anataka kuongea na wewe. Wewe unapeleka sadaka za kusemea. My 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 you are not my son. Hata baba yako anajisikia kusikia sauti yako. Baba yako tu akimwili. Hata kama umechemsha kuliko kuwatumia wazee. Sungekuja tu mwenyewe mwanangu. Watu wa kutumia wazee ni watu wa nje. Baba yako anajua kirere chako na ujinga wako lakini anasema sina cha kufanya. That's still my son. Nimemzaa mimi, eh? Hawezi kuruka hapo wasema mwanangu ni mkorofu lakini nimemzaa. Ndio maana manabii wa kale walijua moyo wa Mungu lakini walikuwa na hapa unani watu tabia zingine. Unakuwa tu kama Yona. Yona anasema. <laughs> Baada ya siku 40. 40 iyom ni nev afak. Kiebrania, Kigreek. Ah, Kiebrania. Anasema hivi, baada ya siku 40 ninayo utaangamizwa. Lakini Mungu alipogairi, maana wali respond wale watu. Just actually hakuhubiri injili alihubiri kitu ngumu <laughs> alihubiri asira yake yes ni ametoka kule ana asira <laughs> alafu Mungu alivyo kaenda akakaa sehemu nabii wa Bwana kaa sehemu namna hii unasikilizia moto unavyopigwa kiberiti cha ninawe mzee unacheki siku ya 40 mbu 41 42 wewe umeshahubiri bado unasubiri wafi au sio Unakaa kule mlimani unasikilizia ngoma mbona mji ndio kama vile umetulia? Watu wamepiga mfungo siku tatu wakanyamaza. Wewe uko wapi? Juu mlimani du. Unasikilizia ngoma inafoka kule. Unasikia bomu la Israeli na Nagasaki. Unasikia malaika wakipita na moto. Unasubiria ngoma ikagoma. Akasema. <laughs> Akamind. Sema akamind. Unajua watu mishi wengi wanajua haki ya Mungu ila hawahubiriki. Sisi wa korofi ndio tunahubiri. Asa usiwaambie watu ya kwamba dhambi zao ziwapeleke motoni. Kuto kuamini ndo kuwapeleka motoni. Hawataki. Asa watoto wadogo hata mkitenda dhambi tunaye muombe. Asa kwanza watoto wadogo mtende dhambi. Lakini mkitenda dhambi tunaye muombezi advocate. Aliyeko kwa Mungu. Hiyo advocate anaondolewa hiyo advocate. Ukitenda no advocate utakufa. So we, they remove ndio maana wakristo wengi ni wanafiki kwa sababu bado wanatenda kwa sababu they don't know the true power they don't know god loves them no matter what they don't know ndio maana we have to stop sinning willingly ndio maana kasema wanzo ni kuna watu kiondolea jehanamu they will never become christian again kwa nini kwa sababu they are trying to be christian they are not wako wengi tu makanisani they are not christian they are fira fiarsian sikio nimesema vizuri they are children of fear not the children of god they are worshiping fear they are not worshiping god they are not children of love they are children of hatred they hate jahanam they hate the demons they hate kufeli they hate that they don't love god god want us to be natural lovers we love him even when there is no something called jahanam i love god sio kama mnaelewa eh If we remove if we remove jahanam watu wengi wanaacha wanawasha kwa sababu watu wengi wana they are trying to be good to get hiyo nini investment good to get si ndo maana investment you invest so una invest good deeds na ndo maana wengi wako disappointed kwa sababu wanafanya kila matendo mema wana invest wewe ni kwa mfano msichana umejituma miaka 27 hujawahi kuguswa Alafu wewe ulikuwa unasema Mungu angalia nimejitunza. 
na mimi naomba nipe mume mzuri ngoma unaangukia mkononi mwa farao <laughs> asiye mjua yusufu <laughs> matoke yake unaanza unakunywa sumu bana ningepu yanga kama akina nani wakina nani hakuwahi kujigusa lakini wana ndoa nzuri angalia stress of religion unaanza wivu na chuki mbona fulani alikuwa kahaba tu chuoni lakini angalia ndoa yake angalia na watoto wake good children nini kwa sababu wewe well, you, you are investing into goodness now goodness is disappointing you because that is selfishness you are investing i am doing good because i love god i can disappoint my father my father loves me and i love back i love people that's the nature of my father ndomana prayer nyingi ni selfishness how can i get that how can i get that how can i get that mungu angekuwa anasema hivyo angesema ah ah tulia zako uona shida vimeo vya waachie but he sent his begotten holy begotten son to save you can you see that can you reflect that in your life yes no maana yesu yuko ndani yako ili aendelee kufanya kazi njema alizokuwa anafanya akiwa Jerusalemu hello ili aendelee kuwaombea wabaya kama alivyokuwa anaomba akiwa Jerusalemu alipokuwa anawaambia umesamehewa dhambi zako he is still doing that inside you god want to continue his business ndio maana anasema hivi yesu wakati anaondoka alisemaje nafikiri yohana 14:12 alisemaje kazi yeye aniaminie mimi kazi nisifanyazo mimi atatenda hata na kubwa kuliko maana naenda wapi kwa baba halikuwa maanishi shemeji unamwamini Yesu eh hey, Yesu alitembea juu ya maji eh kwa wewe pa ili kuonyesha it's not comparison Yesu alichokuwa na maanisha hivi i'm going to my father maana yake i am going to die when i raise up i'll be able to stay in you and do greater works than this why because in my name they will cast out demon in my name they speak in new tongues in my name they will raise the dead in my name they will heal the sick in my name they will propagate the same gospel in my name they will show love like me in my name they will do greater stuff than this maana kana sema hamkuona kitu ngoja muone wanangu atakachokifanya i'll be doing the same business ndio maana nikasema miaka 2000 iliyopita Yesu bado anaishi katika mwili lakini wonderful enough sio kwenye mwili wake anaishi kwenye mwili wake ambao anaitwa nini kanisa ambao ni nani mimi na wewe Jesus is not dead Jesus is alive wanas viwe am i talking about prayer yes wewe kuomba wakati uelewi haya mambo So when I start speaking in tongues I'm releasing power. Nikaanza kwa Rick Carabon Sarabando Lobanse I'm not saying power come I'm saying power go from within. I'm arranging ma, na 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 napangilia injili pale Kampala International University. When I'm speaking in tongues nam 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 nampangilia mwenye kiti mambo yake. Naona hayani vizuri. When I speak in tongues the best way to pray for others is by speaking in tongues kwa sababu wewe kujua shida yangu ni nini but when you speak in tongues you are aligning with the spirit to arrange things in your spirit and in the spirit of others that's very important so praise not begging mwenye kiti nimesema wanapanga mambo yako kwenye kunena kwa lugha unaona chuki wa kipanga hawapangi maelewa tumisho wa Mungu na mimi so that's very important aleleta hii innovation inakata upako kabisa <laughs> wana asifiwe so that's the essence of prayer the essence of prayer is working from within ndio maana Mungu anajua mahitaji yetu yet anasema tuombe unajua maana yake nini it means who is in control the one who is praying hey yes kasome kwenye nani kwenye yakobo 5 kuanzia mstari wa 14 mpaka soma mpaka 18 anasema mtu wa kwenu hawezi awaite wazee wa kanisa hajasema mungu wa kwenu mtu wa kwenu hawezi yani mgonjwa is anyone among you sick hajasema oh god will heal that person asemaje awaite wazee wazee maana yake ni people who know how to use the word of god sio watu wenye nywele nyeupe watu ambao wanajua to use the word 
Watu ambao wamefundishwa, wamekuwa trained about the word of God. Sio watu tu ambao kanisani wanatoa vielela kidogo, wanaonekana mfanye mzee wa kanisa. He's not talking about those people. He's talking about people who know God. Kwa asema awaite, wafanye nini? Wamuombe. Alafu asema hivi, angalia, sio Mungu atamponya. Anasema, na kule kuomba kwa imani kutamponya yule mtu. What work did? God or prayer? Kwa nini God works through prayer? Because he is where? He is in So, ndio maana kiingereza natumia the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man produces much power asema avails much effectual maana yake energio energio maana yake something that can propagate stuff to change alafu anasema it avails kwa avails means to produce it 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 releases it makes something available maana yake when there is no prayer power is absence power is absent because nobody is releasing basi atukuzwe yaweza kutenda mambo makubwa sana zetu omba kwa kadri ya nguvu itendayo kazi kwenye mbingu ya 14 nimegoma kwa kadri ya nguvu itendayo kazi from this young man from this young lady from this boy from this father kwa kadri ya nguvu itendayo kazi ndani yenu umeona Mungu alichokufanya So don't take prayer lightly. When you are in the room praying, you are releasing stuff. Pray always like Jesus. Unaomba asubuhi, unaomba mchana, unaomba jioni. Ndio maana umepewa na lugha ambayo ukiomba huwezi kuchoka. Ukiona maneno ya Kiswahili yameisha, you switch to the another language. Rika rabansa ramondo labaya, rikata rabanda la kusa kabatuya, rakaya mandala gosaya, lebrosa tila manda. Sasa asema sasa mtumishi hapo amesemaje? Is none of your business. I was talking to you. I was so <laughs> Asema ah, sasa mtumishi, mimi sasa mimi siwezi kusema rika rabosa, ribaba raba rabosaka. It's not about that. It's about what is happening inside that matters. It's not about the vocabulary. The language is called the language of spirit kwa sababu it's not what you are uttering in your mouth you are using your mouth as a means to say things inside your spirit and your mouth speaking other things Lazima za mtumishi nataka nataka nene kwa lugha lakini sijui kwa hiyo wanataka roho akushike hivi Lazima nataka roho anivuvie Waja maana uvuvie roho eh nataka ndio maana wengine mpaka wawekewe muziki unaenda chumani kwako no music no what speaking tongues ndio maana wengine kwenye makusanyiko wanaenda kwa lugha chumbani no hawajui kama kuna kuna kwa lugha you know the problem the problem is we think it is what we saying that matters no it is what is happening inside is the things you are arranging when you are speaking it's like holy spirit take you are what you are speaking to control stuff through you kwa nini kwa sababu god doesn't work even demons doesn't work without a body hello so just release your language especially when you are alone do it better do it what better the easiest way to deal with mighty problems is not to pr- is not to pray with mind pray with the spirit sasa mtumishi naona tu nikiomba masaa mawili dakika 10 maneno yananishia sababu naomba Kiswahili when you are born again into the family of god you are given a language of a family so you can't get tired of speaking kimasai when you are a masai you just flow ero kana bo ke yamba tunapiga story ya subuhi mpaka jioni why because i'm speaking the language i know Ukinipa Kispanyola ndasema tu Bonas Dias, Bonas Tardes, la mujer en mi vida. You say some things you know, but you can't say everything. Nipe Kimasai, naweza nikaongea na mamangu masaa matatu. That's why we are given the language. Ndio maana ni promise ishara hizi zitaambatana na hao waaminio. So a believer open their mouth because I have the spirit in me and I believe in God. Through Jesus Christ. So hello the answers of prayer. So that's why we can change a lot of things. I like speaking in tongues. 
ndo maana ita ndo inaitwa kuomba katika roho sawa kama walikuwa wanatafuta kuomba katika roho ni hivi omba kwenye roho yako unafumba macho ile roho yangu inaomba amen roho yangu imeomba mimi sijui not like that open your mouth and i'll feel it bwana asifiwe tunaelewana mpaka hapo so it is it's, it's very important ukishaelewa the essence of prayer huwezi kulazimishwa kuomba you know ha ndo maana utapunguza muda wa kusengenya so if there is a problem you know i am in control they have been waiting for me problem zimekuja kwenye solution hey stay in control man alter the direction naona sasa mwenyekiti siku hizi anapotea hata aeleweki mmm mambo gani sasa haya jamani ui yani sijujua kabisa mwenyekiti umempata mwenyekiti ama na kama mambo yametupatikana jamani hey that if you unaonaje mwenyekiti anapotembea yani kuna shida mahali kweli kuna shida mahali eh eh ila mm, kweli tumuombe tu shoga eh bye tutaonana kesho kwenye kipindi sawa mmesengenya mkaondoka bora mngeomba Bora hata ungekuwa unaenda chumbani kwako you are making some arrangement sawa because prayer is making some arrangement ndio maana Paulo mbali na kwamba alikuwa anatembea great miracles anasema ndugu tuombeeni why because he cannot play with something called prayer actually naenda Yerusalemu nitapigwa like it is your prayer that will stand me ni maombieni atakao nifanya nihubiri kwa ujasiri boldness it is your prayer kwa ajili ya waamini wengine utawasaidia waamini watembee katika utakatifu ndio maana Paulo anasema maombi yake kwenye Wakorinto waefeso waefeso moja mstari wa 17 anasema Mungu wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo awape ninyi roho ya hekima katika kumjua yeye kabla hajafika waefeso 4:28 anaposema mwibaji asibe tena bali atafute kazi itakao muingizia kipato apate kitu cha kumgaia mhitaji kabla hajafika hapo amewaombea ili wafunuliwe upendo wa Mungu nguvu ya Mungu iliyoko ndani yao so that they may release it and now he's reminding them guy guy don't steal man no you are too much to steal you are supposed to work to give not to work to get ana watoa kwenye selfishness watu wengine tafuta kazi zitakayo kuingiza kipato ili upate kitu cha kula ataiba lakini paul never say work to get he say work to give angalia tumevuka tumevuka kwenye kufanya kazi kwa ajili ya kula Tumetoka kwenye kuiba kwa sababu kama unafanya kwa ajili ya kula utaiba ili ule itaiba ule vibe but if it's not about me it's about others kwa sababu Kristo alikufa kwa ajili ya wengine na mimi nafanya kazi kwa ajili ya wengine it means naanza kutoka far negative kwenda far positive kwa hiyo ukienda kanisani unasema da naona unateseka na vyombo nataka ninunue vyombo vya tofauti I need a job. Umeelewa maana yake? Sio raba. Hey, raba za apostle nzuri. Nikipata kama hizi. You know, you go to steal. Sababu you are selfish. Theft is the product of selfishness. Kwa sababu kama unafanya kazi kwa ajili ya wengine, hata yule unayemuibia utamuonea huruma. Unajua kwa nini? Kwa sababu you are not getting to you are not trying to steal to other people to give other people. No, inakuwa ni negative, si ndio eh? Na muibia huyu ni mpya huyu, si mambo imeisha equation is zero, si ndio? Yes. Na kuibia 5000, nimpeleke mchukaji wangu 5000. Sasa maana yake sikuwa ningeacha kuiba. Kwa sababu is useless useless. You rob Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> si kama naelewa eh? Kwa hiyo the true message of God remove you from selfishness. You start thinking of others. Ndio maana mtu anaishi katika upendo ameitimiza sheria yote. So there is no law that can demand you to be good. Kwa mfano, sheria itaniambia usizini. That's why I don't brag of the law. I brag of the love of God. Kwa sababu sheria itaniambia usizini. Kwa sababu nitamharibu mke wangu, si ndio? Lakini sheria hainiambi peleke zawadi mke wako. Lakini upendo unaniambia no, don't good do bad. But upendo unaniambia do good man peleke na zawadi ya tabasamu. Lakini kwa nini mimi nazinigi? Shida yako nini? Kwa nini mwako nikuta msichana mwingine? Acha ujinga wewe. You have never loved the love the, the love of God. It is beyond obeying the law. It is living above the law. 
Ndio maana sheria ya roho uzima imeniacha mbali na sheria ya dhambi na mauti. Kwa hiyo siko chini ya laana tena. Kwa sababu I'm not under the law, I am in grace. Kwa kwenye neema sio ili utende dhambi. Neema inakuchukua kwenye sehemu inakuwa kwenye uwanja unaoitwa I am free from sin. I cannot even think of it. I am full of love of God. That's the function of grace of God. It removes you from trying to please God. God say, I am pleased with you. And you say, thank you daddy. Let me live for you. Dama na maandiko yanasema hivi kama Kristo alikufa mara moja na anamuishia Mungu milele na sisi ndani yake tulikufa pamoja naye tukafuzikwa pamoja naye tukafuka pamoja naye na sasa tunamuishia Mungu milele kwa sababu yuko ndani yetu. Kwa Mungu Kristo anamuishia Mungu milele wapi? Ndani yangu. Kristo anamuishia Mungu milele ndani yangu. Eh. Hello. Kristo anamuishia Mungu wapi? Ndani yangu. Wanaishia kwa hiyo hey Come on. I'm looking for a language. <laughs> I cannot put it right. Na zamani kama ningegongea kwenye moyo wako mpaka usikie mtung, usema ngoma imeingia hiyo. Shida ni kwamba siwezi kusukumia maneno tu nitotasema. And I'm praying for you that you understand the love of God. Ujue kima chake, urefu wake, kima chake, yani maana yake upate full revelation of the love of God. You stop the nonsense. You don't discuss about sin anymore. Hey. Hallelujah. Na Bwana Paulo anasema siachi kutoa dua kwa ajili yenu. Mungu wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo awape ninyi macho. Sawa? Anasema awape macho macho mioyo yenu yatiwe nuru ili just muone. Anasema just see. The moment you are open your eyes to see the love of God, you stop to following the ways of men. Everything changes. Your operation of life changes. Hello. Sio kama unaelewa eh? Halelele. Mwambie mwanzo mpe tano mwambie unaelewa hiyo? Mwambie let's go beyond religion man. Sio kama unaelewa. Tumisho umeelewa kweli? Umeelewa? This is so so precious. Sema so precious. Sema children of God, be imitators of your father. And unless you know your father, yeye huapa mvua wema na wabaya. Huonyeshea mvua wema na wabaya. Huapa jua lake waovu na sio waovu. Kwenye shukrani na usona shukrani. Uwe ni na ukarimu kama baba yenu alivyo mbinguni. Unajua kanisani ndio maana siwaambia kanisani kwangu I don't teach about kutoa fungu la 10 kwa sababu I'm limiting them. They are too much. Watu mmewajaza upendo wa Mungu naambia watoe fungu la 10 wakati wengine wanatoa vitu vyao walivonavyo. Ha? Huh? How can I tell you to give tithe? Stupid me. How can I be that stupid? Ndio maana kanisa la kwanza they just knew the love of God. What did they do? Unajua walifanyaje? Waliuza kila kitu. Wakasema nani ana shida? Nani ana shida mtaani huku jamani? Na kitanda tuuza hicho kitanda na chini. Paulo anasema alipoenda Makedonia, watu wakatoa vitu mpaka wakatoa mili yao. Kwa lugha rahisi wanakupa alafu anakuambia tukufanyie na nini? Kwa neno ulivotuhubiria, I just want to do more. Ndio maana wazuia usije kwa kuwa na mili yao kabisa. Mwambie a a. Wewe sio nguo. <laughs> majifanya mmeelewa hiyo hamjaelewa <laughs> You know what I mean You know what I mean Yaani hai niende tu nimkamate mtumishi hapa namwambia sasa mtumishi naomba unaletea fungu la 10 ah. ah. Kwa hiyo anaanza ku reduce hiyo 60% anayotoa anaanza kutoa 10 Alafu akitoa anakupa na kumwambia shika hiyo. Mtumishi, nimewazana na Mungu, nimeshalipa deni, sawa? Akikuta mgonjwa barabarani, analia jamani hatuna hata hela ya kumtibia. Anasema, shama izana na Mungu. Sawa? Muone ninavyotengeneza chuki. Shama izana nini? Na Mungu. Nimetoa kiku, kiku michango. Kwa tusifuata, tusijuane. 
does that bring relationship in? It kills what? Relationship. Apostle, can you say, when you have a dog, you can say, I'm going to 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 I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Mtu anaweza akapata faida yake yote akakuletea akamwambia mtumishi tunue vyombo tu. Anambia kesho wiki jana unamwambia umetoa fungu la 10. Ah, juzi amepata faida yake yote amekuwa 100%. It is wicked man. Unajua kwa nini Musa aliwapa sheria? Watu wengi hawajui. Musa aliwapa sheria kwa sababu hakuto kuamini. Sheria ni ya mtu asiye na imani. Nitawapa vizuri. Walimuuliza Yesu. Kwa nini Musa asema walimpumuliza Yesu akasema Musa kwa sababu ya ugumu wa mioyo yenu aliwapa sheria ugumu wa mioyo ni lugha ya picha ya kumaanisha kuto kuamini ndio maana kwenye waebrania tatu anasema msiwe na miongo mioyo migumu kama walivyofanya jangwani si ndio sheria ilitolewa wapi jangwani sheria ya mauti na sawa ilitolewa kwa sababu wale watu walimkataa Mungu Mungu alitaka awe na relationship na wao. Wakamwambia Musa, masuala ya kuwasiliana na Mungu, eti je mlimani tuonge naye, achana na haya mambo. We tuandikie sheria tuzifuate. Wakasema mnajifikiri wa janja eh kiburi hicho na wapa kanuni vigezo na masharti. Ukiwa kwenye siku zako usikanyage kanisani, sawa? Ukajitakase na maji, sawa? Na kuongezea nyingine. Ukivaa juu kitani chini usivae sufu, piga kanzu, sawa? Akasema ukilima kwenye mashamba usichanganye ngombe na punda kwa kokote jembe, sawa? Akawakazia bala. Petro Kwenye matendo ya mitume Petro anasema hivi lile lilikuwa ni kongwa hata wazee wetu hawakuweza kubeba. Maana yake Wayahudi walikuwa wanabeba kinafiki. Ndio maana Yesu alikuwa anasema hivi, nyie mnatoa zaka za mnana, za mchicha, za giligilani, lakini hamwezi kutenda mambo makuu ya sheria ambayo ni adili, utu wema. Maana hamna. You don't have goodness. Huwezi kuwa na maadili. Huwezi kwa nini? Huna Mungu ndani yako. The law kills the relationship with God. You don't have God when you are living by the law. Relationship gives you God. Yale mambo ya adili, mambo ya upendo, mambo ya tabia za Mungu yana reflect. Lakini Yesu alikuwa anawakazia kwa sababu walikaa hawana Mungu. Anaambia be good. Anasema sasa nitatoa hapo goodness. Ngoja ni try. Ndio maana Petro alimwambia Yesu nani Paulo alimwambia Petro, sheria ni njema kama ikitumiwa ipasavyo. Maana sheria haimfai mtu wa haki. Maana kama mtu wa haki yuko juu ya sheria. You can't give him the law. It's for unbelievers. God has never given people protocol. He gave them love. People rejected love. He gave them protocol. Moses gave them protocol. Not actually God. So the mistake happened and then the law came. But then God, Christ came to show the love of God. And I better accept the love of God because I can live better with the love of God. Ndio maana anasema ufanyeni mti kuwa mwema na matunda yake yatakuwa mema that's the function of god in you god want to get in you to change from inside out hello mti pekee ambao una change from inside out ndio unasa unavaa real fruit si ndio hello ukuta mwembe umepachikwa parachichi unajua baada ya muda tu litanyauka si ndio mpara ukikuta parachichi juu ya mwembe unajua baada ya muda tufanye nini tanyauka. Ukuta mwembe jua mwembe unajua ndi? Ndio maana watu wengine wengi wanajitahidi kuwa wakamilifu kwa kitambo kidogo. Baada ya kitambo hicho kitogo wanarudi mbwa amerudia matapiko yake na nguruwe amerudi kwa waga matopeni kwa sababu hakuwahi kuwa mbuzi, hakuwahi kuwa kondoo, alikuwa mbwa, anarudi kwenye maana yake they angalia they play church but not the church. They play Christianity but they are not Christian. They play, unajua ku play to act you dramatize umai kuona kwenye movie mtu ana act hajawahi kuzini kwenye movie nenda kwenye real life watu wengi wanaishi maisha ya movie 
Kwa sababu in reality they don't have God inside of them. They rejected God their entire end era. God is a loving father. Tusimame. Oh. 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 Hakika we mana do fadili zitani fuata mimi nitataka mbali wa siku ngapi
I want you to pray in the spirit like now. Open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and, and release the supernatural power of God that's in you. Open your mouth and release. Open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and release the power of God in your life. Open your mouth and release the power of God in your life. Araba sekere mandala baba se amandala bos. Iriaba saka yamandala baba soya bora mandala soya. Rakaba seke amandala bando rabasa. Rieke bebe sa yamandala baya kora mandala basu. Rabo saka yamandele keri amandala ba. Yeke reke se yamandala busa. Rakoto rabaya kotele mande. Riamo saka baba. Shereba saka rababa. Reba sakarababas, Reba sakirimanda rabas. Open your mouth. Pray in the spirit. 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 Release, 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 release. Strengthen your holy faith. Strengthen yourself in your holy faith. Strengthen your hands in your holy faith. Do when your prayer camp. Release yourself in the prayer. Release yourself in the prayer. You are causing changes. You are altering the direction of the lives of many people. You are altering the direction of the gospel in this nation. You are altering the direction of the gospel in this country. You are altering the direction of lives of many people. You are altering. You are changing circumstances. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Fadili zake ni zamilele. Wema wake ni wamilele. Waminifu wake ni wamilele. Ukarimu wake ni wamilele. Utendaji kazi wake ni wa upendo. Yeye ni Mungu anayetupenda. Yeye ni Mungu anayetenda kazi ndani yetu. Yeye ni Mungu anayefurahishwa na sisi kwa sababu ya Yesu Kristo. Yeye ni Mungu anayetupenda. Yeye ni Mungu anayetupenda. Yeye ni Mungu anayetupenda. So important that you speak in tongues. Rea baseke aramanda la baya, robasa katali manda la basa. Oh, hallelujah. Wema nazo fadili zako, niza milele, niza milele. Wema nazo fadhili zako nizamilele nizamilele
Zamilele Aujawai kupunguza wema wako Aujawai kupunguza fadhili zako Wewe ni Mungu unayetupenda Tena unatupenda upeo Wewe ni mwema wakati wote Wewe ni mwema zamani zile Wewe ni mwema hata sasa Fadhili zako ni za milele